Hello class. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. Fertilizer computation. This is based on MELC1 apply recommended kind and rate of fertilizers. Okay, so roll up. Let's start. To supply a certain amount of plant nutrients, determine the amount of fertilizer to be applied per hectare based on the composition of the fertilizer materials to be used. Usually, we compute the NPK in kilograms, N for nitrogen, P for phosphorus, and K potassium. The fertilizer recommendation is expressed in K uh, kilograms N, kilograms phosphorus, and kilograms K or potassium. Example, the recommended rate or RR is 90, 60, 30 kilograms per hectare. It means 90 kilograms of N, 60 kilograms of phosphorus, and 30 kilograms of potassium. Okay? The formula in computing the fertilizer is the weight of fertilizer material is equal to RR or recommended rate multiplied by 100 all over divided by the percent nutrient of particular fertilizer material. Where FM, as I have said, means fertilizer material and RR, the recommended rate. Okay. Let's have some sample computations, okay? First, when the recommended rate given is 90, 60, and 30 NPK per hectare, and the available fertilizer materials are urea, which is 46% nitrogen and 0% phosphorus, and potassium. Second is ordinary superphosphate, which is 0% nitrogen, but 20% phosphorus and 0% potassium. And then, uh, next to compute is the muriate of potash, which is 0% nitrogen and phosphorus, but 60% potassium. Okay, the formula is weight of the fertilizer material is equal to the recommended rate of that particular uh, FM times 100 all over divided by the percent nutrient of fertilizer material. Okay, ready? For letter A, or we will first compute the urea. You can follow or you will be guided by this, okay? So you align the RR, the recommended rate, and the fertilizer material urea, its uh, nutrient content, okay? Align these two together, and then we will first compute the recommended rate of 90 and 46 FM. Okay, the formula is weight of FM is RR times 100 all over divided by percent nutrient of FM. So this one, 90 RR, okay, then 46 FM, so here 46, so 90 times 100, we have 9,000 overall divided by 46, we have 195.65 kilograms. Okay, very easy. Next, to compute is the ordinary superphosphate. Okay, this is your guide. The RR or recommended rate is 90, 60, 30. The ordinary superphosphate fertilizer material is 0, 20, 0. Okay, the next one to compute is the 60 recommended rate and the 20 fertilizer material. To follow, substitute the formula. So, RR is 60, okay? And then, FM or nutrient of FM is 20, or you get from here, 
So, 60 times 100 equals 60 or 6,000 all over divided by 20. So, our quotient is 300 kilograms. Okay, can you follow? Very good. Next to compute and the third and last one is the muriate of potash. Okay, again, your guide, 90, 60, 30 recommended rate. FM of muriate of potash is 0, 0, 60. Okay, this is the last to compute. Last column. Okay, sorry. Balik natin. Okay, last column. So, substitute the given RR is 30. Here it is. 60 FM or fertilizer material. Okay, 30 times 100 equals 3,000 all over divided by 60. So, we have 50 kilograms. So easy. Okay. Did you get the first example? Very good. Okay, next one is to compute. Okay, wait. Okay, recommended rate is 160-60 NPK per hectare. And the av available fertilizer materials are the complete fertilizer, which is complete nutrients 14 nitrogen 14 phosphorus and 14 potassium and the second to compute is the amount of urea which is only uh, 46 percent nitrogen no percentage in potassium and phosphorus okay so step one compute the complete fertilizer okay so this is the uh, your guide in computation. So, compute the amount of complete fertilizer or CF 14, 14, 14 needed. Use this as a guide. Okay, again, align the RR and the FM. FM or fertilizer material, which is the complete fertilizer. This is 14, 14, 14. The recommended rate is 160, 60. Okay, since the NPK or of FM are all of the same rate, so, FM, so lahat yan. All of that is 14, 14, 14. Okay. Start computing based from the lowest RR. So, lowest RR, our RR or recommended rate is 160, 60. So, lowest. So, both we have uh, 60. Okay. So, and since there are two, either of them can be used. Okay. Next. So, let's start computing. So, recommended rate is 60, and then the fertilizer material nutrient is 14. So, 60 times 100 is equal to 6,000 divided by 14. So, our answer is 428.57 kilograms. Okay, from this 428.57 kilograms of complete fertilizer, 60 kilogram each of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium were already satisfied. So, 60. So, our recommended rate is, okay, let's go back to this, 160-60. So, therefore, we already satisfied all the nutrients for complete fertilizer. So, these are all 60. Okay. So, go to this one. So, however, the recommendation for nitrogen is 100. Okay, 100. This one, 100. Therefore, it is short of 40 kilograms. So, this remaining amount will be supplied by urea, which contains 46 nitrogen. So, urea, 46, 0, 0. So, 46% nitrogen. So, align, okay, the RR to the FM. Okay, since all... Uh, percentage of complete fertilizer is 60 and then we uh, already computed this two 60 60 and the needed nutrient for nitrogen is 100 therefore we are short of 40 so 100 minus 60 we have 40 so instead of 100 as the recommended rate our new recommended rate 
for computing the amount of uh, urea is 40. Okay. Understood? Okay, very good. So, for step 2, compute the remaining amount of 40 kilograms nitrogen which will be taken from urea, 4600. Therefore, following the formula, the weight of urea, 40 as the recommended rate, 46 as the FM or nutrient of fertilizer material urea. So, 40 times 100 all over divided by 46 will give us 86 point. 96 kilograms. Okay. So that's it. I hope you uh, get something from today's discussion. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. God bless.